late game because if we don't want to anything and see it, I got a song for it. I'll, I'll remember a song somewhere. We can't have a conversation in our house. Uh, Brandon wait, is the I worst. To turn really? Jen, he'll just be going through the house and out of nowhere he'll say something. Yeah. And it'll just be two words and, and it'll make a, a, <laughs> All right, Daniel. a, a movie or a song, song or, or something, something. Yeah. come up in Jennifer's head. And now what she likes to do, she'll really mess with him. She'll pull up the song on YouTube or something like right. that and then start playing the song. Oh. And so then Brandon will stomp around the house for the next half hour going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting frustrated with it. But. <laughs> this is Danny from Deep South Homestead here on the porch today. Uh, we're with Jared from J&J &J Acres. And um, we're enjoying a visit with him and his wife here today and the kids. It's been a little bit cool outside. and. Kind of not a bad day to be outside because at least it's not a hundred degree heat here, bro. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, Let him what, what's on your mind or introduce yourself <laughs> or whatever here? Well, hey everybody, I'm Jared from Jane J. Acres, uh, like Danny was telling you. Uh, my wife Jennifer and our five kids, we came down. We live up in a little place called Tomb Suba, about two hours north of yep. it, and um, been asking i think if I, my wife was asking me this on the way down here how this all got started and i think i think really it started with me asking about your uh, your processing room yeah and uh, and wanting to see that in person and uh, and finally we got it worked out and i almost called this off today because there was a chance chance of rain, rain. <laughs> uh, but uh, but y'all were kind enough to say go ahead and make that decision day of yeah and sure enough, when I woke up this morning, found out the weatherman wasn't all that right, and it was pretty scattered about. And I said, "Well, let's make it." And we drove through rain, but I hadn't seen a drop of it since we got here. So well, I'm gonna tell you, it, it just never rains here hardly. <laughs> That's the reason my mom had told me that you said if it's going to rain, I said, "Well, just tell it to come on. Don't worry about it. If it's gonna bring rain, tell it to come." Yeah, yeah. But, um, but Danny, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed being with you, and we have been all around your property and probably spent a half hour at each little spot talking about yeah. different things about it and and um, I think the thing I liked most about uh, being here is you have a little bit of everything right you know and and it's it, to me it's it's a true homestead it's not just right a guy with a house that has a pretty good vegetable garden yeah or, or a guy with a house that happens to have some chickens right you, you you took me around, and I and I see the processing facility, and I see your animals, uh, your animal pens, and and all the different areas. You have different, uh, um, like your own squeeze gate that you right. designed for them, and all those different little things. The greenhouse, and the different coops, and the different pens, and uh, even your shelters and things like yeah. that. And, and just seeing all of that is it is nice to be able to come and talk to somebody who has. Um, literally made a life out of it and, and can talk about the experience behind it. So I, I appreciate your hospitality and letting us come down and seeing it all. Well, we appreciate having y'all here. It's uh, It's been a, it's always a blessing to Wanda and I to have people actually come here. Mm -hmm. Because, it, like you made, the, you made the statement there about there's people out there that, I mean, they have a house and they have land and they might have a few animals. Mm -hmm. They, they and I'm not trying to be critical here, y'all understand that. They, they call themselves homesteaders, right. you know, but to be a homesteader is a little bit different than actually living the lifestyle of a homesteader. Right. You know, one and I, as we've talked about on our channel many times, neither one of us have a job. Mm -hmm. If we fail at this, we fail at life. Right, right. So that's not an option for us. Right. We, we have to do what works. And I always tell people, what I do here may not work where you're at. Right. So, don't walk away saying, oh, well, what, what he's doing, I'm going to do. And, you know, it might work for you and it might not. But what we do as, as a couple here, we watch YouTube channels. I mean, I'm not going to lie about it. We yeah. watch a lot of YouTube channels. Yeah. And what I do is I pick little tidbits out of those things. Mm -hmm. And I take those tidbits and we experiment here while we can. Because if a... You know, I don't use the SHTF thing hardly ever. Right. I do use a life-changing event yeah. because that can cover anything from a medical problem to, uh, like, I mean, you had the gallbladder surgery. Right. I had the gallbladder surgery. Neither one of us at that particular time could do anything on our homestead for a period of time. Right, right. Wanda kicked in at that point, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and Jim, it kicked in for you. I don't know on your end, but Wanda kicked in here. 
and it it made it a functioning homestead at that point. It wasn't like because I couldn't get out and do it, the whole place just shuts down. Exactly. And and if it shuts down, then nothing gets done. That won't work for us. That's yeah. not an option here. Yeah. Because, like you said, we have animals. Animals, like you have, you have animals. They have to be tended to every day. Somebody's right. got to do something to them every day. Right. And and that's just part of homestead. Yeah. And that's that's kind of part of the things that I've struggled with on my channels because. People, people search for that term homesteading. Yes, you know, you know, and, and and so that's the common phrase that's out there. But really, quite honestly, I've seen plenty of people fly that banner when really they could have been flying a banner that said homemaking. Homemaking, yes, you know? <laughs> yes. And 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 again, like you say, that's not necessarily to put them down, but it is no. to differentiate that there 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 is a difference. There is definitely a difference. And so I have people come to my channel, and they're like, well, you know, Jared, what do you know about this? What do you know about this? And well, what I know is I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm well, trying. And, and, but like you say, for you, it's your life. For yes. me, it's something I'm trying to transition into. You're right. And so, so I'm slowly trying to pick things up. But, but for you, it's, it's been your way of life. Yes. And it is your life today. And so for me, it's something I'm, I'm, it's like me trying to learn a new career. You yeah, know, I'm trying to learn a new career, but you've been doing this. You're the senior vet, <laughs> you know, and so it's nice uh, to it's nice to come and see how it's actually worked and um, how it's been working and and to pick up little tidbits because to to see it the way that it's working um, full time. Yes, uh, it's kind of nice to sort of jump a few hurdles because I'm sure even even if you went back a, a day or two to when that you first did something the first time oh right i'm sure even you hit a couple hurdles or learned yes. a couple lessons and to see how you're doing it now yeah can, can help someone like me transition into it much more quickly well that is that's the whole idea behind us doing what we do is so that someone who is learning doesn't have to make the mistakes i had to make mm -hmm. if i can save someone a a step in the process then it might mean that you get to harvest something this year where normally you would not get to harvest something this year. Right. And it means it's a difference between failure and success in many times. Yeah. I mean, there, there was times that, that when Wanda and I had done things, like you was mentioning there, that, you know, we failed at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like I tell people, I don't know everything. Right. And, and I don't portray myself as to know everything. Now, I do know a lot about a lot of things, Mm -hmm. But to say I know everything would make, would make me a fool. Right. Yeah. And I'm not going to do that. Um, but now if we have a failure, I do show the failures. Right. Because just because it's a failure here doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a failure for you. Right. Because you could do the same exact thing and have a success. At it. it just depends on your climate. Well, and i tell you what, I don't know about how your experience has been on YouTube specifically, but people really appreciate those failure videos. Oh, they do, yes. Because <laughs> I've, I've got two out there in particular that come to mind. One where uh, or I couldn't figure out how to hook up the PTO on, from my oh. <laughs> from my brush hog on yeah. my tractor because it looked like I should be pushing instead of pulling yeah. or whatever else. And, and I've had so many people positive attitudes reply yeah. could have gone the other way could oh have, yeah could, could have. have people go oh you're such an idiot what do you think you were doing but instead exactly. of coming is man i appreciate you being brave enough to put you just saved me a bunch of time right yeah <laughs> yeah i just didn't want to say nothing you know <laughs> and then another one was when i was out there with uh with uh with daniel at go for green living uh-huh and i tried for the very first time ever i've now i've cooked on a fire plenty plenty times right but i've never cooked in a cast iron dutch oven Oh, and, okay, and yeah. Was, and I was trying to do that mountain man breakfast. Right. And I was following the recipe book to the to the charcoal. <laughs> yeah, to the charcoal. Seventeen charcoals. <laughs> and it was the worst experiment ever. And so, and and dinner was your breakfast was like an hour later than it should have been. Right. Or whatever else. But, but I said, you know what? If I made that mistake, somebody else might make somebody that else mistake. would make it too. Yes. So I might as well put it on YouTube and let yep. everybody learn from it. And and again, the same kind of response. People come back and say, I, on, now on that video, I had a lot of people say, man, that was hard to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so but, people went hungry and that went for a few minutes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they did, but but now having uh, and you and I talked about this earlier on the property um, that a lot of this is experience. Yes, you, you can watch the YouTube videos. Yes. you can go to the classes. You can get the certifications. Right. But until you get your hands dirty, till you put a nail through a board, right? Till you give it a try. Yes. You don't really learn anything. <laughs> I agree with you 100. percent I mean, I had a neighbor. I was I was mentioning it to you about. 
about the butchering of a pig. Mm -hmm. You know, he he came with me. We went. We actually put the pig down. We we bled it out. We brought it to the shop here, and and I told him. I said, now here, here's a knife. Get in here with me. Yeah. He would not. Yeah. Because he he said, I do not know what I'm doing. And I told him, I said, the only way you're going to learn is to get in here with me. Yeah. He said, I would rather watch first. Mm -hmm. And 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 then do it, which I, I never got him to take a knife, you yeah. know, which which would have been more beneficial to him yeah. had he went ahead and put a knife in his hand and actually got the feel of cutting the, the skin yeah. and pulling yeah. the skin back off of it. Because like, you're exactly right. It is a learning process. I mean, when I taught survival, one of the things I told people was, we can read these books all day. Mm -hmm. We can sit in this class. We can talk about this all day long. But until you get out there and you're cold. Mm -hmm. you know, hypothermia can happen in 80 degrees. All it takes is for the internal temperature of the body to drop below 91 degrees. Really? Okay. And you can have hypothermia. Because I've seen guys out on the waterfront down here on the Gulf, and it go to raining on them in 80 degree temperature, and they're flying in a boat getting soaking wet. Mm -hmm. And they get underneath a bridge, and the temperature immediately drops because they're in a shade and get hypothermia. Wow. You know, so until you experience something, mm -hmm. you, you can read about it, like you said, all day long, but until you get your hands into it, you don't actually grasp the concept of it. Yeah.